Okay, the Distro Spinner is back. We passed 2,000 subscribers, so I think it'll be better to do it like this now there's a few more people watching. So we're going to spin the wheel and see what distribution it's going to give us for the week. Fingers crossed it's a good one. Uh, okay, Arco Linux. I just put that on the wheel today as well. I've never used it, so it's going to be interesting. So what I'm going to do now is go and download the ISO, DD it to a USB, and then we're going to just have a little run through. And then after a week, I'll give sort of a full review of how I've found it during my time with it. Okay, before we DD it to a USB, um, they've got quite a few different versions, different desktop environments and Windows managers and such. So we've gone for the deep in one because I've not looked at the deep in desktop environment in quite a while so I think it'll be quite interesting to see how things are going on with that so I'm just downloading it here and then once that's done we'll be jumping into okay, it okay so we've just booted up into the live ISO um, I've run GPIED already so now we're going to run Calamares which is what it uses to install internet I'll tell you what have I got a spare Ethernet cable anywhere no so we're going to have to go into the wireless and just chuck it on wireless for a moment I think that's right. Soon find out. No, it's not. That should be it. Sorted. Right. So let's, um, is it going to refresh? Let's cancel that and just reopen Calamara's. All right. Cool. Do I have tap to click enabled in this live installer? No. Okay, so welcome to Arco Linux, based on Arch. We're going to go to British English and click Next. Okay, so there's quite a few things here that we can choose to install. Let's have a look here. Let's grab the Intel U code. Graphics, let's see what's in there. Let's grab GIMP. Uh, let's get Inkscape as well. Uh, that'll be okay for that. Does it want us to choose a image viewer as well. well let's go for Restretto then I don't know if it does stuff automatically or not then um, in fun we're not going to get anything for fun we're not we're not looking for fun right now um, web browser we're just going to go for chromium and then we're going to go for is there anything else on here let's get telegram desktop as well does it have evolution it does so we're going to get evolution um, do I want anything else in here no Right, LibreOffice Fresh. Let's just go for the whole of that. Bang, there we go. Uh, multimedia, let's see what's in multimedia. So we've got Caden Live, OBS Studio, blah, blah, blah. I'm probably just going to grab, because I'll use a, like an app image or something for Caden Live, so I'm not going to worry about that for now. Um, do I want any of this? Let's grab VLC while we're here. Um, uh, let's get open shot as well uh, OBS while we're there and I think that'll do uh, let's grab lollipop as well no I'm not going to grab lollipop actually right that's multimedia and then themes that's pretty cool I quite like this installer okay so what have we got in themes let's go for arc icon theme does it have arc theme adapter arco linux arc kde uh, I'm going to get the mocha icon theme as well Okay, I'm not going to worry about that too much. So let's press that. Uh, utilities, so what have we got in here? YouTube DL, System D Manager, blah, 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 blah. Um, um, no, I'm not going to worry about that. So let's press that little button again. Um, virtual box for Linux, no, I'm not too worried about that. Cool, um, I think that's pretty much all I want. I quite like that, you can choose all of that in the installer. That's pretty nice to see. Right, let's click next. Um, it's already selected the right region, so let's click next. Let's test our keyboard. Bang, bang. Oh, yeah, that's all good. Let's go for next. Right, I'm going to go for just on a straight erase disk. We're going to get swap with Hibernate. So that's going to give us a 300 meg EFI FAT32 partition for boot files. A swap of 17 gig, and then the rest is going to be on route for Arco Linux. So it doesn't separate your home or anything like that by default. Let's go next. Let's type in our user accounts. And let's click next. Right, let's just quickly review that to make sure that's all correct. Yep, looking good to me. So we're going to go ahead and install that to the disk. 
and then once that's done we'll be booting off this okay we have booted up into the deep on deep on deep in desktop environment um, here's your welcome screen here let's have a quick little read the links below get you started blah 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 we appreciate your feedback and donation um, haven't donated learn have fun and enjoy the Arco Linux team so there's a donate button there release info choose your project get involved core info debug fast track forum and YouTube then it's got some links here to their telegram groups and discord stuff Twitter and just a few other things there so we're not going to show that on startup now right let's close that so this is they use the um, compact theme by default so what we're going to do is just change the mode to efficient mode I prefer a taskbar that's a bit better right let's um, let's have a look around to see what's actually installed then so here's our launcher it's a full screen launcher so we have files manager which will be the deep in file manager I'm gonna imagine yeah so there's the file manager we'll leave that open and we're just gonna have a little look through um, music so there's that deep in music player it's been a while um, yeah looks like it is so let's keep moving screenshot image viewer editor what's this so is this the deep in text editor or yeah deep in editor let's leave that open as well let's keep moving terminal let's have a look at the terminal there we go there's your terminal there and we'll have a quick read of the little ASEI thing so we have package wise 1135 and it's pacman um, there's our two screens DE is deep in windows manager is a mutter deep in gala themes we are using the arc dark theme the icons is sardi arc um, cool and we're currently using about just over one gig of ram so let's keep having a little look around um, also during my week with it i've decided i'm going to test out some of their other versions as well because there's some that interest me that look quite cool so we have screen recorder voice recorder boot maker clone what's this Let's um, connect to Wi-Fi as well. I don't think we've done that just yet. So let's go into our Wi-Fi. I think I've already done that wrong. Let's see. No, I think we've done the password wrong, haven't we? No, we are all connected. No, we're not. Let's do that again. Are we connected? It says that we're connected, it doesn't. Failed, okay. Let's do our password again. Yeah, look at that, it's going crazy there. So let's go on to this one. Can I get rid of this? Yes, I can. Is that connecting or what? What's it doing there? Oh, I didn't press save, did I? I can tell I haven't used deepen in forever. Let's go to save. I probably have to redo what I just did, don't I? If we go to save, and hopefully that'll connect our wireless. Is that connected? I think it might be. Let's go on to the internet. No, it's not. I'll tell you what, let's skip all this Wi Fi business and just use Ethernet. I'll, un I'll unplug an Ethernet cable from somewhere. Ugh, come on. There we go, we got one here. Let's just connect it to this one here. Right, we are connected with Ethernet, so that will just sort us out there. I need to actually remember what my password is off the top of my head. Sometimes I'll get it right, sometimes I won't. Luck of the draw. <laughs> right, let's keep moving. So that was clone. We didn't really look at clone though, did we? Where's it gone? I don't know if it's going to open. Right, we won't worry about clone for now. 
Let's have a little more of a look around the computer. That will just open your discs, I'm going to imagine. Yes, it does. Let's get out of that. Let's keep moving. Trash, control center. So everything sort of that you control on your sort of deep in desktop environments is all done here, which is quite nice. I do like it. I don't know what's going on with their version 20. I think it's been pushed back a bit. I'd be interested to see that desktop on here as well. Right, so that's Control Center. Um, as I say, when I do the full review, we'll sort of go more in depth on all of these sort of things here. Multitasking view. So there's the multitasking view, and then you can jump to a different desktop. You can drag that around and have all press that and get another one. It starts with a new wallpaper there, though. Okay, let's get back into this. And then let's keep moving around. You've also got a little quick la launcher there for deep in task multitasking view as well. I'm not sure what the keyboard shortcuts are. We'll um, we'll sort of have a look at that during the week. So system monitor, print settings, archive manager, come to G parted, A and R, A R and R for screen stuff. Um, uh, SSH browser things, evolution that we chose in the installation process. God, camera lines one really weird, isn't it? Okay, Firefox is the default web browser. I think we chose that, I can't remember. Let's see what version we've got of Firefox. Version 73.0, so not the latest version. What we're going to do is go into the update manager here, and then we'll see if there's any updates to grab. There is, so there's version 74 there, which is the latest version of Firefox. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade. So let's just go to apply. Type in our password. Nice, right, we'll leave that doing that. And then we'll have a little more look around and then I'm going to reboot, get a RAM reading and then I'm going to save most of it for the follow-up video. So you also have Deconf Editor there, Conky is installed out of the box, Vim is installed out of the box, Telegram we chose in the installer, um, VLC we chose, Sublime Text is also there. Okay, not a bad selection of packages there and there's also OBS that we also chose in the installer HTOP is installed out of the box and as you can see we're using about 1.9 gig now let's um, test hibernate in a moment once the update is finished we'll test out hibernation and make sure that's all working as it should so that's nearly done there so let's just make sure there's nothing we've missed out that's quite important I'll tell you what should we change the icon theme I, I don't quite like it let's go into control center um, personalize there we go, personalization, um, icons. So if you go to theme here, I'm going to imagine it's here, icons, here we go. So let's go for Arc that we installed at the beginning. And I do believe that has changed our icons now. So if we go into here, there we go, icons have changed. So some of them are still the deep in ones because there won't be an Arc icon for that. But that's not to worry. Right, it's updating network manager at the moment. So we'll leave that doing that. Let's see if we can get some keyboard shortcuts up. So if we type in keyboard, does that come up with anything? No. Let's go into the control center and see where keyboard is. Here we go. So how do we do our keyboard shortcuts? Shortcuts. This I think could be better done. So you can't really see all of that because my face is in the way. But so if we click on something, can we change it? No. Oh, yeah, we can. OK, cool. So what is move to workspace? Do, 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 do. Workspace. To switch to workspaces, use super and directional keys. OK, let's have a look at that. There we go. Quite a nice, smooth animation. What we're also going to do is see what default wallpapers it comes installed with. So let's go to wallpaper and screensaver. And let's just grab something a bit different here. Let's go for this. Mm, let's not. Nope. I'll tell you what, we're just going to use that for now. And does that show that on all desktops or did we have to? No, I think there was a button that you click to change it on all desktops. So if we go back to this one here. No, so you have to do each desktop individually. That's a bit annoying. So is that one, two. So let's change this one as well. Wallpaper settings. And then we're going to go for that one as well. Sorted. Okay, so Network Manager is still going, though it says it's finished there, so updating is just taking a little bit longer. But we will uh, we'll pause the video here, and then we'll come back to that once that's done, test hibernation, do a reboot, get a RAM reading, and then we'll save everything else for the follow-up video.
Right, while that's still updating, we're also going to make our taskbar a bit smaller. So if we go into size, we've got large, medium and small. So we're all on medium at the moment. Let's see how large large is. So that's large, and then we're going to go to small. Like that. There we go, much nicer. I'm just going to have a little look at what else is on here. So you can get power, onboard, date and time. Status, keep shown. So you can do smart hide or hide. Location and mode. So I'm going to jump into... Um, Beautiful mode, so you can see what that's like as a small one as well. I don't mind beautiful mode, it just feels a bit cramped. So we're going to go back into efficient. And then, like I say, we're going to let that update finish and then we'll come back to it. Okay, that update completely broke. So what we did was we done this little command here, sudo pacman sc, and then we sort of just done it in a terminal. Everything seems to be all good now. So I'm just going to go into their updates in the um, GUI here and just see what was going on there there we go all up to date so what we're gonna do is quickly check one more thing out so as it's deep in I don't quite like a full screen launcher like that so what we're gonna do is this little button here will let you change it I do believe I thought you could change it into um, a ah, this button here there we go so now we've got a more sort of traditional application launcher which suits me a bit better so we're going to test out hibernation and then we're going to reboot and get a fresh RAM reading and we're going to leave it like that. And then we're going to use this for the week. I'll install it to my other machines, my desktop and everything and then we'll come back to it and do a nice in-depth review. Mm -hmm. So let's just quickly open a couple of things and then test hibernation out. Right, so we've got open, that'll do for now. So I'm just going to hibernate in terminal. Right, so that should be all good. Um, there we go. Although well, it's gone straight, let's give it a minute. Let's see if it's going to do what I want it to do. Screen should go off, hasn't yet. Hmm. There we go. My screen's off. It probably won't show on the capture card though, but the screen is off. So now I'm going to restart it, and if Hibernate all works, all those programs will still be there. Let's have a look. Right, just turning it on. Hibernate is quite important for me because I use it literally all the time. All right, we're just booting back up. Right, here we go. Let's type in our password, and hopefully, if all's gone correct, those programs will still be there. There we go. So hibernation works as it should, which is all good for me. I also managed to connect my Wi-Fi there. The little brain kicked in. Um, so what we're going to do now is do a reboot, and then we're going to get a RAM reading, and then we're going to wrap it up. So let's just go to reboot. Um, I'm going to leave it to record. Let's see how fast it boots up. I will have to hit enter when it gets to the grub screen or whatever it uses, though. All right, enter. Let's see how quickly it goes. There'll be a bit of a delay from the capture card. So you won't see it straight away. Okay. So now what we're going to do is very quickly open up terminal, type in HTOP, and we have got 670 megabytes RAM. That's pretty good, especially for sort of deep and it's quite a flashy desktop environment. So that's quite nice actually. I'm not too fussed with that. Everything's working as it should. We managed to get the update going. Hybrid 8 is working. Um, I'm not too bothered about having to use this for the week actually i'm looking quite forward to it thank you for watching if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye bye